In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get these three regional forms in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Two of them aren't available at all to catch within the game. One is, but you've got to have a friend to trade with, and this method gets around it quite nicely to help you finish your Pokedex. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. First one we're going to look at is how you get yourself Galarian Meowth. Now, normally Galarian Meowth would be an exclusive to Pokemon Home, but you can get a copy of it in your game right now. What you need to do is head to your academy and find the teacher Salvatore. This will start a series of events with Salvatore, this particular teacher, where you'll have to find him around different classrooms in the academy and speak to him. He'll tell you a story all about a Palmy that he found healing up till the point where you suggest to him that he should keep the Palmy as his own Pokemon. Upon doing this, he will then give you a gift and it will be this Galarian Meowth. It comes in at level five, but you will be able to evolve it into Berserker, so getting that Pokemon as well. Has the moves Growl, Fake Out, and Home Claws. And as you can see, it is met at the Naraja Academy, and it will obviously be at the other academy if you are in Pokemon Violet. The next regional exclusive that we're going to show you how to get in these games is the Jotornian Wooper. So regular Wooper, we've got Paldean Wooper in these games, but you can get the regular Wooper form as well. So you want to come to Kaskarafter City, and you are going to need a Palladian Wooper in your party. Palladian Wooper can be found very early on in your playthrough, an easy Pokemon to obtain can be found next to Los Platos, next to the first Pokemon Center at the very beginning of your game near your house. Uh, you want to find one of those, catch it, and then bring it to Cascarafa City, which is where we are now. Once you're at Cascarafa City, you want to just make your way to the main area by the fountain over here and look for a trainer that is on this side, just next to the Pokemon Center. This lady here, she'll be talking, saying Palladian Wooper. When you speak to this lady, is it true that Wooper in Paldea are venomous? I have a blue Wooper I caught in another region. I want to trade for a Palladian to get it. There we go. So she asks if you want to trade, trade with her, and this will get you Jotonian or Joto Wooper in your game. And that's quite a nice one to get because like I say, Pokemon Home not compatible until early 2023, I'd imagine if I would say, hazard a guess. If we're going off anything like Pokemon Sword and Shield, it'll be around February time before we get compatibility. So this is a nice way for you to get this Pokemon into your game. And I do love original Wooper. Sue sent over Manchester. The blue Wooper is neat too, so make sure you give it lots of attention. Okay, and there you go. You can see that you've got yourself a nice regular Wooper. It is holding a rare candy as well, so that's a nice little bonus for you. Got the nickname Manchester and from the original trainer Sue. The next Pokemon we are going to look at is a trade with an NPC character for Gengar. Now, Gengar is obtainable in these games. You can catch a Ghastly, get a Haunter, but to get a Gengar, you're going to need to trade that Haunter with a friend and then trade it back to your game. So sometimes this isn't possible and it's difficult to arrange, whereas this is super easy. You can do it all in game yourself. Yourself. You want to be in Lavincia City and the Pokemon that you're going to need to trade is Pinchurchin. You'll be able to find Pinchurchin on these areas of the map. You can see there on the outer edges of the, the map area, on the beachy areas where you can find it around the region. So there are a few areas where you'll be able to find it. And obviously in its Pokedex entry, it says it lives on the beaches, giving you a big hint of the areas where you will be able to locate it. So once you have the Pinchurchin, you want to just make your way to the main area once again of Lavincia and you'll be looking out for a trainer and just as you come across this bridge here and they will again mention something about the Pokemon that you're going to trade. Pinchurchin would be great. This is the NPC character that you're going to speak to. You can see on the map this is where we're located so easy enough to find straight from the Pokemon Center. I don't have a Pokemon that I can ride on water but I want to meet some lovely sea Pokemon. If you have a Pinchurchin would you be willing to trade it for my Haunter? Just say yes and if you haven't got a Haunter already in your Pokedex, this is actually kind of a really good trade because it's going to add Haunter before it evolves into Gengar as well. And Gengar can be one of those Pokemon that's quite difficult to get your Pokedex complete, especially if you're going for like the Shiny Charm and complete the entire game. 
this is a nice way for you to be able to get this Pokemon in particular in these games without needing to go through the trade mechanics to grab it. Hauntikins is traded over and uh, you can see if you haven't got it already, it will be registered in your Pokedex. We have it, we've complete the Pokedex, so nothing will be getting registered today for us. But this is a nice way for you to see how you can get yourself a Gengar, which is very nice. So an easy way to get it and uh, Pinchurch and not a difficult Pokemon to trade. And although not a regional variant, there is another NPC character with another trade that you can take advantage of in Otondo Town and you'll be able to trade over a Flibaby with this NPC character that is located. I've come to the wrong side of the town. I thought it was on the, the right side of the town. But if you come up here, you will not miss this trainer right here in the middle of the, the high street and uh, he will be saying Flibaby. I've already traded with this character so you can get yourself a Snom, but that is going to be the other NPC character trade that you'll be able to do in these games. I hope you found this video useful. Drop a like on the video if this has helped you out and do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet guides on the channel. So until next time, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.